The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So off we go then. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Alexandre Lacazette. He really is a top-class striker, Peter. His movement's so sharp and instinctive, and his first touch is usually bang on, giving him the best possible opportunity of, of getting an effort away. He's not just a goal poacher, though. He puts in a, a good defensive shift to pressing the opposition high up the pitch. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Place it into the box. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. He gets past his man. A really good feat from him. A chance to play it in. Fev. Beautifully done. Plenty waiting in the middle. Hoists it forward. Talia Fico. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. He's got options out wide. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And it's played forward. He's in space and looking for options. Time to deliver. For it, and that's caused a worry or two. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. Oh, good take in a good area. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Forward it goes. Toliso. And here's Lacazette.
So that's going to be another corner. They've played it short. That is terrific skill. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Brest can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there. Hoists it forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. La Cassette. And the shot. And he's done it. Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Lyon get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Oh, sweet feet. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And we're off again. Brest need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Lacazette! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Lasne goes looking. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. How about a shot? Lasney plays it out to the flank. Pierre Gabriel gets up to hit it. No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. That's great strength on the ball. Now by a goal, needing to go up. Well, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play Fev forward checking back like that always appreciated by the crowd 
you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Lacazette played out to the right. A buccaneering run from the defender. Towering header! Good delivery, but no joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. It's a loose ball. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, at the moment, their chances of getting back in contention look slim. They're not exerting enough pressure. Simple as that. Tolisso, who set up one goal so far. Great leap! Hits it again, but still no joy. Well, there's nothing wrong with the service. Uh, they've just been very wasteful in the air. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's got paid to a promising move. Looking to hit the front line. Slimani is effectively being marked out of the game here. Well, it makes sense, Peter, that if he's frustrated, the whole attack may suffer. Out of play for a throw. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. <laughs> Tolisso. Fev. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Hoists it forward. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Chip through. Gets into some space. They need to get it in quick. And that's sprayed out wide. Could try cutting inside here. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Lasley. And it's played forward. Brest have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Two minutes to be added on. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. And that will be the final act. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. The 